All right, so we're out here at the famous Thai range. I'm here with Nick from Loophole. Yeah. Who's also a professional shooter. Uh, professional. Ish. Ish. Kind of. I dabble. <laughs> I look the part. We'll Competi see I, competition shooter. We'll see if I can actually look. shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, me and Nick were out here talking, and um, Nick likes to run, like right now, running a variable powered optic of some sort and a red dot. R correct, yep. Is kind of all the rage right now, and I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan yeah. too. It's the it's it's kind of a multi-purpose tool yeah. for different uh, jobs, right? Absolutely. You you're you're set up for any scenario that you might run you might into. Might run it exactly. Yeah. So the difference is though, yeah, is how do you run that red dot, right? Yeah, so exactly. You like running it at the top. So I got it up top. Mm -hmm. You got on I 45. I like mine running. I like a 45 degree cam. And then like some people have a 45 up front, like you have it, uh -huh. and then some people will run it 40 so, like back here, like super close to your face. So I go I go both. Mm -hmm. And the only reason sometimes I hesitate from back here yeah. is because of shells possibly hitting. Oh, yeah, hitting yeah, yeah. ejecting and hitting e the optic. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I do typically like it closer to my eyes, mm -hmm. personally. Yeah. Um, so I, but I'm actually testing it to run out here because another thing, too, there are a lot of things you have to consider, right? Because it's like with this, if I'm running it up close, this is partially blocking some of my view. That's a good point. That's now, good it's, point. it's not blocking it so much that I can't use it. Like yeah. I can use it just fine. I just have to ignore this knob. Right. It's hanging out on the right side of my glass or left side of my glass. Um, but for me, running, running camp is for my body, mm. body mechanics, it feels more natural actually. Okay. Because even when I'm shooting straight on, I have one tendency to kind of run. No, he turned it sideways, kill shot. Oh, to Can't, rotate a little exactly. bit? Exactly. And so I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a black joke in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Insert here. Yeah. <laughs> and when I, when I said that's somebody, I'm talking about Peter. <laughs> um, so. Before you finish watching this video, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more, visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 today. This feels very natural to me. Okay. This feels incredibly natural to me. Yeah. In ways that I wouldn't think. And I think it's just, I don't know, I can't really explain it. It was just, but. well, and everyone's body's different, right? Yeah. Because that's the cool thing is that there's solutions for all different ways to set it up. Yeah. Because we're not all built the same. Exactly. We don't all move the same. Yep. You, someone might have a shoulder injury and they really sure. can't do yeah. this thing, right? <laughs> you know, uh, and they have to go up top or different or, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. And I'm and I'm kind of a hunchback, so I tend for me <laughs> when I like I get really into it. Yeah. And so running it at the top, and also depending, you know, this might be problematic because it's it's so high. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. running it at the top for me, this feels so awkward. I don't know why. Gotcha. It shouldn't because it's so simple. See, to and move for it. me, like I like it because if I'm at high ready, I'm already uh -huh. right here and I'm looking over my scope. If I'm at high ready, I have my dot right here. Gotcha. And now I can just sit there. And for me, this feels more natural. See where I go mm, like that? That's where it starts to feel. See, I feel like I, like I actually turtle more when I do that <laughs> instead of being up straight like this. And I can still get a good chin weld. Uh -huh. And you know, the stock is nice against tight against my chest and I can take really accurate shots right here. Gotcha. So, but you know, again, teach their own, whatever works for you. Yep. If you go run this course of fire and, and I kill can it, change. Get like, I'm not gonna be like, so no, no, that's fine, yeah. So let's cool. head over there and I'll just kind of run. Sweet. All right, so we got a little course of fire set up, little right. shoot house here. So it's gonna give you an opportunity to run that red dot at a 45 or up top, whatever you want. Kind of dig around corners. Okay. There's gonna be a little surprises here and there. Okay. Then we're gonna come around a corner down there, have to engage some longer targets. Okay. And then finally a steel target at an even further distance. Okay. This is where that mix of so, magnified optic and red dot right. are really gonna come in handy. Gotcha. And this is kind of simulates what a real life yeah. scenario that you might, you might have to be in a house and then you might have to come out somewhere. So yeah. Sounds good to me. Cool, let's run through it. Let's do it. Yeah.
<laughs> He's all smiley though. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if I'm here and if I don't want to come out too much, I could actually come swim out, use that. But you can't do that with a, you can kind of do it with a 45, but, yeah, but it, it's pushing it's pushing it a little bit, right? So, yeah. So you're ready to change over to 45 degree, right? No, I think <laughs> I'm still gonna keep this bad boy up there. Yeah, yeah I, 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 like I said, this just works for me. It's, it's more natural. Yeah. And then also what it does sometimes too is like it allows me to, when I'm running it, like it's almost like this is just a natural rest. Okay. Oh, I get. So yeah. your yeah, body so mechanics. Like, so see, I always concentrate on my body mechanics on this side, but you're saying mm, your yeah. your elbow kind of comes in comes and creates in and a rest. Press a little rest for me, and I can oh, just that's a good right point. there. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, and so now I don't have it. I will admittedly say I don't have much leverage driving left and right like yeah. I would like you know here right. I can drive. Yep. Here you know it's a different type of movement mm -hmm. that's more wrist oriented and I don't know which muscle would be maybe tries I don't know. Yeah. But um, but other than that yeah I can just and it sits there and for me what I noticed when I was running 900 when I was running 900 90 degrees. Yeah. Um, is that what they, is that what that be called? They call the, would that be considered ninety degrees? Ninety degrees up top. Yeah, 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 yeah. So or twelve o'clock. We call it twelve o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So running twelve o'clock, sometimes I'll come up and I'll miss the oh. red dot. Oh, so I'm like I'm kind of this where this gotcha, it's gotcha. just a flip. There it goes boom. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. Um. So that for me, that's why I'm like forty five. Gotcha. Yeah. No, yeah, I still like it up top there. I feel like I can really, uh, I have my full body mechanics i have the the butt of the uh, rifle like super uh, uh right against my pack kind of almost center yeah. line and again i'm at high ready and if i have to take a shot i can just bump up i like super quick so gotcha. um again whatever you practice and whatever you use exactly to. Yep. so i think the advantage of having that red dot through that course fire that we just shot is even in an lpvo even if it's a one to six or something yeah. like that i don't like looking through a tube I like my full field oh, of view. Yeah. I have my full field of view with a red dot, and for that close-up stuff like that, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. that's yeah. so much easier. Yep. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because people always wonder, it's like, why do we? Do you have a one to one to ten or two I to know, ten? Right. Like, why? Why? Yes, I can do it. Yeah. Like if I wanted to bump this down to two mm -hmm. and run it, I could. Absolutely. I'd be a little bit slower, but yeah. Yeah. I could definitely. But that idea, that two. Yeah, that kind of getting sucked down that narrow two bay is kind of like eh. Even on one power, like I just it's... don't. I don't like it. I'm 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 just faster with a dot up yeah. top. So yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. All right, well let's let's still jump onto some other stuff. Let's, let's do some pistols. Ooh. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.